Greetings there fellow traders and welcome into my weekly analysis. Uh, this is Nehat Dias from Harmonic Forex and today I want to take you through how to analyze a chart from the higher time frame to understand what you should do with a particular market. So I'm going to start off with the dollar yen pair which you can see has just touched the 100 level or very close to it and is beginning to show some reaction. So let me first go to the weekly chart so that you can see what's been happening. So I'm sure all of you would agree that this pair has been on a downtrend. Okay, so if you are to draw some sort of a channel, you would see this coming in something like this. But what we are seeing now is that this level, the 100 level, which is a very psychological level for the dollar, uh, the, the dollar yen is being respected and you could see that there is some reaction here now remember I'm on a weekly chart so what I'm going to do is to draw my support in so I see that there is one support here let me just change the properties of this okay so there's one at around 99.49 something slightly higher very close to the 100 level so it seems like the dollar yen is bottoming out so i can't be very certain about this but it, it seems like from a technical standpoint the 100 level seems to be holding very true so once i know that there is this 100 base you could see that there is a, a quite a number of rejection candles here that there could be an opportunity to go long here so next my thought is that how do i find some opportunity to go long and in fact i was just looking through this uh, in the morning and this level seems to be creating a bit of a back pattern so how do you draw a back pattern is you need to find a low of the market which is around this 100.12 level okay and you need to start plotting in, in your fibonacci's so a back pattern is where it moves upwards and then there is a retracement to the fib 5 level which tells us that this is going to be a bad pattern and after that I'm going to draw a couple of other Fibonacci lines so essentially this is going to be my first triangle and I'm going to find out where my second triangle completes and the confluence zone has just been hit which is around here so you could see that this particular candle here has just hit the confluence zone and it seems like there is a nice reaction here so what do we need to wait for next we'll have to wait for this bar to complete and i feel that this is going to be uh, a good trade given that the pattern has completed and you could say that the pattern is uh, giving us a signal to buy around this region okay so based on this top-down analysis i feel that the 100 is going to be a very good support and of course we have the opportunity of going uh, getting into this pattern at around the completion zone that's uh, shown around here okay so this is what i'm looking for on dollar yen and in fact this is happening right now i'm also very interested in the aussie cad so let me scroll over to aussie cad and once again i'm going to do a top down analysis so take a look at what's been happening here over the last couple of let's look at it from a weekly chart what happened last year and what happened this year I'm going to draw two lines here. The first one is over here, which tells me that this is the high for 2015. How do I know it's the high for 2015? Well, very simply, I go to the weekly chart and then I look for the highest point. And then when I go into 2016, I realize that the highest point for 2016 is about to get hit. In fact, it just got hit a couple of um, well, maybe within the last one hour. So what's my bias now? My bias is that it's hitting the high of last year and it is hitting the high of this year. 
So of course this here it's it's not ended yet. And of course here over here maybe on January 1st this year you would see that there's another level around here as well. So it's telling me that this guy despite its uptrend is hitting very very strong resistance and you could see that okay the market people are already shorting over here but as harmony traders we are trying to look for a reason or a pattern that we can short this and i did find another bad pattern here so if you could see this is a bearish bad pattern which means you're looking to short you could see that the pattern has been created somewhere here and you're beginning to see confluence at this level. The let's let's draw in the AB equals to CD, which is the Fibonacci expansion tool. And let's look for the confluence zone. So you could see that the confluence zone comes in around. Well, it needs to come near the 886. So the level that we're looking to short. The pattern completion is somewhere around here. So let's draw our triangles in again. So you may ask, hey, how come this guy has been eclipsed and it's going up already? So this bar itself, it tells me that it's not ready to be shorted yet. But what's interesting is that this is forming against a very significant resistance. Yearly highs cannot be taken very lightly. So I'm still not ready to short this. I feel that it needs to go. It needs to create some reaction around this zone and maybe it needs to create a smaller pattern. But I'll be very interested not to stay in this for too long, but to catch a reaction here and maybe gather about 50 to 100 pips and then look to go long on a smaller pattern because the trend is still upwards and we need to respect that. Okay, so the next one, Euro dollar. Once again, very interesting pair because of the fact that it's approaching significant resistance. How do I know it's significant resistance? Well, I let the chart tell me that. You could see that there are uh, multiple uh, candlesticks here, which are rejection bars. And whenever you see this, you should be thinking, hey, I could potentially short this market around this zone. And quite interestingly, there is a channel that's been respected. So you could see that something like this, you'll have one, two, three being respected, which means if this guy comes up and touches this channel, it could be an opportunity that this channel would get respected again. But once again, we are trying to look for harmonic patterns to see if there is an opportunity to short inside here. And I did see this and I did put this on trading view as well. Um, in fact, last week that there is going to be a sharp pattern that comes in at around this 168 level and it coincides with the Fib 8 from the other side. So do you see that here? we have a very nice shorting opportunity. The pattern tells me that this level is going to be significant. And I'm just waiting for maybe another confirmation, a smaller pattern here, and maybe um, some reaction to the trend line. And I feel that this uh, would be a, a good trade coming up. So the pattern is setting up quite nicely. And um, I feel that if you're a pattern trader, this is something that you should look out for. All right, so we've um, analyzed three different pairs, the Euro USD, the Dollar Yen, and the Aussie CAD. And of course, you may wonder how do we draw these patterns so quickly? So let me just show you how you can join us to really uh, learn more about drawing the Cartley pattern. So if you're based out of Singapore, do come and visit us on Thursday the 29th. At 7 p.m., we will be hosting this at IG Singapore. And this is an opportunity for you to completely go through and fully understand how we draw patterns, how we look for the correct levels to trade. And uh, of course, if you are keen on furthering your uh, education around trading, 
this is uh, where you need to be this Thursday. All right, with that, I'm done for the week. So I hope that this has been very useful, how to do a top-down analysis. And until next week, trade safe, and we'll catch up with you soon.